Hello and welcome to this video. I wanted to make this video to provide further information regarding Alexander Rodriguez who is a known influencer and the situation surrounding her father who is a convicted sexual predator and factual information surrounding the case, the letters that she wrote in support of him, the newspaper articles, and public record information that you can verify and form your own opinions. Uh, yeah, that's what they said anyway. <laughs> so from then on, it was me and my mom and my dad, actually, at the time. So my dad was a lifeguard from Florida, and he was tan, had feet on hands, all cool. My mom was sassy Aries, and my dad was Taurus, which will eventually lead to bigger problems. <laughs> um, so we're all living in the suburbs at this time and living what you guys would call the American dream, as some people call it. Happy family, whatever. It's so good from the outside, but it really wasn't all that great on the inside. My mom and dad were going unhappy, and they just weren't right together. It's okay, though. Eventually, at age three, they ended up getting divorced, and my father decided to go back to his family in Florida. And my mom and I stayed here, where we were uh, from originally. My family lived here. My dad's family lives in Florida, so we thought he'd go back there and stay with them, since he and my mother weren't on the best of terms. But it's okay, because they started a great relationship of my mom and I, and we are super, super happy and best friends. So... This also started the time where my father and I um, were growing distant. So, but that's okay. I've always been very um, college driven and believe that college is the way to go. So, I don't know. At this time, I had no relationship with my father. As a child, I yearned and yearned for my father, but um, I don't know. He was never really around. I would get, you know, like a letter on my birthday or a package at Christmas, but that's pretty much the extent of it. We got in a couple fights on the phone once because I was mad at him. So, you know, it wasn't the best of times for us. And one day, my mom got a really bad phone call, and yeah, it was pretty much uh, horrifying. I still remember the moment when she got that call. Uh, something really unfortunate happened to my father that put a lot of us in a bad situation. But my mom and I were struggling that time. My dad was unable to pay his child support anymore, which took a lot of a toll, even though my mom was working two jobs, and you know, it takes a toll when you're getting that. So with no more child support, plus the cafe business, and we lost our house, which was really hard on us. We ended up moving in with my grandparents that time. My mom was going through a really hard time and I just give her so much credit because she's so strong and so tough and it's just she's had a hard time with it but she was really strong and kept me feeling good. I have a YouTube channel and I really adore her. And also now my father and I just to update guys have a great relationship. Uh, ever since the bad thing happened, which I don't like to really talk about, uh, he's been calling me, reaching out to me. I actually flew down to Florida a year and a half ago to see him and for the first time in like a decade and it was a really great experience. We're all on good terms now, my mom, and my dad, and myself, and it's kind of nice to know that one day we can all maybe be like a happy family again, but not in the traditional sense of that being together. I've learned a lot in life uh, over the past like 10 years. You are a man. Do you like walking around the house with your junk hanging out? No. <laughs> Alexander's father loved walking around with his junk hanging out. He loved flopping that thing around. Oh my god. Yeah. Very strange. <laughs> Alexandra wrote a series of two letters of support for her dad. The first one was in 2012. These letters can be found online through the case records. But something that struck out was that she says, the experience was uh, quite nerve wracking for a lot of my family, but it was definitely a blessing in disguise. My father and I had never truly had a relationship until a few years ago. It was just a few phone calls and maybe a visit every few years. Until this whole experience happened, I hardly knew my father. And then she goes on to say that he began to call her weekly and exchange letters once he was in prison. And having my father in my life has been the biggest blessing and I am extremely grateful. My dad made some poor decisions, but I truly know in my heart that he has learned his lesson. So that was in 2012. So according to Alex, her father had learned his lesson, but yet in April 2020, he violated his probation because he contacted the victim, something he wasn't supposed to ever do again. Here we have another letter that she wrote in February of 2023 because Roger Thomas kept trying to terminate his probation earlier than it was supposed to. And obviously that did not get approved. And he has another case coming up in April where he's trying to terminate his probation. Basically, I'm assuming to be able to live freely and travel and go anywhere. 
So what I'm showing here now is his public record as a sexual predator and it lists his address as required by law which is Fort Lauderdale which is where they go every year for their girls trip supposedly. For further details on the case there is in a newspaper article in the Florida Sun Sentinel which talks about the case in more specific details. I do not want to get into the specific details. The case is, is pretty horrifying and I really feel for the victim in this case and the other children that he had. Alex never mentions her half-siblings, but her father had other children with his wife at the time that this case happened, and they also suffered because of their dad's behavior and his actions. This next footage that I'm going to show you are images from Alexandra's wedding. She got permission for her dad to attend the wedding, and he wasn't supposed to be there. According to his probation, he's not supposed to be anywhere around minors. And as you can see, there were children in attendance at the wedding. And I have the exact footage where you can see him wearing a blue shirt and khaki pants. As Nancy's walking in with Alex, he's walking parallel to them on the other side. And I thought that was just so ironic that he's doing that. Because had he been a good father, he would have been walking the bride down the aisle. And he and he, she decided it was her mom. Her mom was the one. So I wanted to show you this footage. And now I leave you with the video that started all these revelations from coming out. I want you to see what she discusses there on her Florida trip. We're going to have to find a new place next year with the baby because it's adults only. It's 12 and up. I know. I'm sad. I, I want the baby to come like, here. This has really made our life complete for so many years. But hopefully we can find something else that's just no, as cozy. It's because we're definitely bringing baby next year and keeping the tradition alive. So, all right. We're